What is up my plastic perfectionists? It's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles and I just got a box from Reaper Miniatures. Now, this is the first Bones set that I've backed and I don't know what to expect, frankly. Um, I didn't get everything. I didn't get that amazing pirate ship or a few of the other things that they had because there's only so much money I can justify spending on plastic that I would like to make not gray eventually. So I've cut it, but I haven't opened it yet. So let's find out what we have within. I genuinely don't remember exactly what I backed. It's been a long time. There's, I guess it's sort of an air pack. <laughs> Ooh, that's a heavy bag. So this is the Encounter at Mandapar Pass which is Yeti's, I believe, if I remember correctly. Henchwoman. Full Moon Fever. Sack of bases. Arakoth the Ancient. Oh, that's the giant spider. That's sweet. We've got Sophie's Lucky Dice. We have <laughs> the Townsfolk one. I'm kind of excited about that. I love NPCs for some inexplicable reason. The Dwarf King's Crypt. I, I don't think I got any of like, the big dragons or anything either, but I'm okay with that. Brinewind is something I'm very excited about. This is the Brinewind Extras. And then I also got the Brinewind box itself. The Chronoscope box, which I'm also excited about because this will fit nicely into my uh, skirmish game I'm working on. And then the core set itself. Looks like there's a few other random little pieces in here. Got ReaperCon, Return to Brinewind, a paint thing, which is cool. And the corset itself, funded with Kickstarter. Yeah, like three, four million dollars funded. So I am pretty excited about diving into these. Um, I think we'll go ahead and just crack open the corset on this video here, and then I'll go through the extras as separate ones because oh, there's a lot of plastic ground to cover here. It is sealed. It's weird that it says this Reaper Bones 4 core set contains over 150 Bones and Bones Black miniatures. Hmm. I, I was pretty sure this was 5, but it has a big 5 in the background of it. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I really don't care what number is on it. Ta-da! Sack of plastic. So what this is is a sack of responsibility, honestly. I really, I'm not, I'm, I haven't painted a lot of miniatures in my day. And so this is going to be sort of, a challenge for me. It's going to be interesting because I would like to not have a big pile of empty blank plastic floating around by the end of, well, I don't know, like seven years from now. <laughs> so frankly, none of this is going to be that exciting to anybody. It's just a bunch of rattling plastic and some clear ones. Um, so I will dive into this and come back around with some rundowns of each of the characters. But here's just a quick preview of Bones 5. I'm excited and daunted and nervous about all this, but man, I'm kind of excited. This is like tripled my miniature collection right here. 
Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you'd like to support the channel, you can go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash deeplydapper, or you can back issue three of Tabletops and Tentacles live now on Kickstarter. It's our biggest issue yet, over 200 pages, a lot of cryptids, 24 creators and contributors, and it's a lot of fun. Links are in the description below, and I will be back with some kind of up close shots of the different sets as I get them out and glued together and assembled. Thanks for watching everyone, may you live in interesting times.